Hey, yes, welcome to the channel. We react a little differently around here, different films, different format, hope you like it. Every month we post a poll in the community tab with four films that the viewers can choose from and select a film for me to watch. If you have not already done so, please feel free to do that for next month. But the winner this month is The Color Purple from 2023. Directed by Blitz Bazawule and starring Fantasia Barino, Taraji P. Henson, and Danielle Brooks. So let's put our feet up and watch The Color Purple. <laughs> yeah. You need a horse and buggy <laughs> to drive you through town playing a piano. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a boy. I'm gonna name him Adam. Like in the Bible. Ain't that precious? Lenny, Lenny, get up here. Yes, yes and Paul. Through there. That's good. That's good. Ah! <laughs> that was a good transition, actually. No water. You're doing just fine, Miss Celia. I just need you to finish one <laughs> more time. Almost there. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of like stunt casting in this movie. Help see with the baby. I'll even help pull some of her weight round. No, that baby mine. I'll take him if I want to. The noon. More like early evening, but howdy. Early evening? That means it's getting late, gal. Let me give you a ride home. I ain't nobody's gal but my mom. <laughs> and she did. Mm -hmm. You can call me Nettie. Sassy, I love it. On then. Pretty little feet. Now you lying. I'm tomboy and I like to climb trees. I got corns, bunions, and blisters. Ain't nothing pretty about my feet. Now leave me be. Name's Mister. Upstairs. <laughs> Just quick with the lies. I want to ask for your Nettie's hand. Needs me a wife. You're gonna need more than that from what I hear. Besides, Nettie's too small. She's gonna be a school teacher. But I'll let you have Celie though. Four cow and a couple of eggs. Just as <laughs> homemade sin. Wow. Thought it work hard like a man. Celie? That's what you call that thing walked in your stuff? I don't want that. Got outside talking to Paul. The devil. He followed me home from school today, and now I can't get rid of him. He sure looked nice for devil. 
It will always look nice till they start raising hell. <laughs> Say his last wife was shot by some man she was seeing on the side. And he ain't grieving on him because he got some on the side too. A loose woman named Suge Avery. What's a loose woman? A woman who won't let no one man tie her down, I suppose. That sounds nice. <laughs> A loose woman. <laughs> no, you don't. Pack your things, Seely. Time for you to leave. You marry Mister. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Who, Mister? The devil. <laughs> Made her walk all the way. Wow. And that house is trashed. You think this is bad? You need to get upstairs. That's delightful. When are you gonna give me shit on the bath? It'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh. Paul tried to touch me. Where's she gonna sleep? I won't be no trouble, mister. I go to school during the day and the nights I study. <laughs> you gonna have to pull your weight around the house. And whatever I say, go. Yes, sir. Whatever he says goes, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, it can. Why are you fighting? You know how I feel about you. Don't feel the thing! Daddy! Why me? I write to you every day. <laughs> Nothing but that can keep me from it. You tell him. <laughs> Is Mr. around? No. He at the hell house. Hell house. Yeah. Sophia! What's wrong with you, gal? Can't you read? No fighting, no killing, no women. Woohoo! Yeah, I read what pleases me. <laughs> Come on, Good for you. Howdy, sir. High time me and you was introduced. Tell him who I is, high folk. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Pa, Grampy, gents, I want to introduce y'all to my girl. <laughs> We's in love. <laughs> this is better than a radio show, man. <laughs> this is I ain't gonna let you marry my son, because you and the family. Petty guy like you can take his mind, but you can't have his money. He ain't got no money. See, my sister and her husband say I can live with them as long as I please. Now, I come here. Out of respect. But if there ain't none to get, that show ain't none to get. Bye! Don't you move a muscle. Fine. Stay then, Hoppo. But when you gets cold at night, you know good and well who heats up your bones. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. You get out of this 
bitch in the build down here. Oh, you know, Griffey gave me this land when I turned 16. I'm building me and Sophia a home on it. Boy, you carrying your brains in your back pocket. You can't build no house on no swamp land. If you were smart, you use it to plant rice. Well, maybe I ain't smart. <laughs> That's the wisest thing you've ever said. But I'm working, working. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. We got this. Long now. All right, see that on over there. Give me that piece of wood, Sophia. Aww. <laughs> I said we got company. Oh, go, go, come on. I'm, I'm coming. I'm right here. Take the baby. Oh, me and Miss Seely need to converse like women's. Mm -hmm. And make us tea. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding the baby. How am I supposed to hold the baby and make tea? I make Oh, it. no, you won't. Neither use a guest. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> How come you so nice when the rest of hot folks can so mean, surly? Don't know. I figure if I... Maybe you too nice. You must ain't got no kinfolk around these parts. The only kinfolk I had was my sister. And I ain't seen her in years. Yeah. Uh-uh. How come the tea ain't hot? <laughs> well, you didn't say hot. Oh, everybody know tea's supposed to be hot, hot, bo. Don't be sassy me in front of company. I just wanted hot tea. You mm, want hot tea. <laughs> Give me kids. Hot and cold. I now pronounce you man and wife. I take it you and Miss Sophia having a rough honeymoon. Oh. That's a big lump. How come I can't get her to mind me like you do, Pa? I don't know. Every woman ain't the same. I fear we ain't gonna last, Miss Seely. She mean as a train, but I... I love her. I'm gone, Bill. Bill. You told Hypo to beat me? No, ma'am. You's a damn lie. I didn't mean it. Then why'd you fix your mouth to say it then? I say it because I'm jealous of you. You do what I can. You fight. I love Hoppo. God knows I do. But I'll kill him dead before I let him or anybody beat me. Good for you. You under your husband's foot. Mm -hmm. What he say go. A <laughs> force of nature's coming through, huh? It's a bit on the nose. Reverend Husband, I think you was right about these being the last days. Lord <laughs> of mercy, all things to be right about. God help me, that's my dog. Ain't no other woman like sure. You know she's coming. Ain't no other woman like sure. <laughs> Need to brace yourself for this town, huh? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Take care of that for me. Hey, baby. We need something special.
<laughs> How long are you and Albert been a thing? Albert? Your husband? <laughs> That's another name. You're trying to tell me you don't know your own husband's name. I thought his name was missed. You know, if you ain't gonna laugh, you need to sell your footy bone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smile is healthy. Ain't you got something to make you hop out of bed every morning and just smile? Ain't you got children? I had to. And I'm not sure if they're alive or where they are. That's how I know my pa, still in this world. When I get to thinking about him and how he used to sing to me. How come you just don't go and visit him? He lived just down there by the church. It's complicated. <laughs> he ain't forgave me for choosing the blues over his religion. I see the smile and cover. <gasps> Sweet and loving God. Now it's mm. okay. Albert ain't gonna be able to keep his hands off you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get it off quickly. <laughs> Would you look at all of God's beautiful creation? You know God loves admiration. You saying God is vain? Absolutely. No, not vain, Miss Steely. The Bible says it himself. very plainly. You see, I think it pisses God off. If you walk past the color purple and not notice it. <laughs> I've been wondering if God loved me, then why you take my babies? And why you take my ladies? Mm-hmm. Good question. Not like men did that, not God. If you can't, don't worry, because I got some voice too. Well, uh, this, this is my girl Squeak. Sounds nice. You fellas gonna be ready for me to sing come Friday. Oh, well, yes, ma'am. Well, all right. I guess I'm fine. Oh, I told you. 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 You got that job, too. Oh, I got it. I made it just for you. I knew you was coming. Her doesn't look so happy. She looks safe for us to go on ahead. So she want to make an entrance. <laughs> That's an entrance, all right. This is our Bob Fosse moment. All alone. Who was the dance? Henry Broadnax. Well, my people call me Bust. He's a prize fight, but the man ain't never been knocked down until he met me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't you be at home taking care of your baby? Shouldn't you be somewhere with folks your age like a cemetery? <laughs> <laughs> me and Buster wouldn't have had us a girl. Here we are. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> a little obvious. I'm gonna steal it for just one minute. Careful. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> 
sistema se dejan. Squeak can't help it. know who she is, all right? He just found out really. Don't touch me, you snaggletooth heifer. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Memphis is calling. Mm. I got to remind these folks I'm still alive in the big city. Oh, they go forget me. <laughs> I ain't ready for you to leave. Missed them much nice so when you're here. He don't beat me as much. Beat you? Why do that? Because I ain't you, I guess. Madame. Going to the movies, huh? Uh, may I help you? Two tickets, please. What about, what about, what about, what about love, you and me? I do like how they staged this as like a 30s movie flashback kind of thing. Very pretty. He probably somewhere passed out. I'll take the man. Take care now. Nettie. Mm-hmm. Mercy to glory. Nettie! But if you do get this, I want you to know I love you and I'm not dead. <laughs> Hunt them down. Take all the time you need. I'll have Albert help me pack. I'm coming. <laughs> you better read fast, girl. <laughs> they told me they were going to Africa as missionaries. While we were on a great boat to Africa, the Reverend told me he and his wife couldn't bear children. God sent them too. They showed me the name you had sewn on the baby's blanket and I knew the babies were yours. It's a miracle. Adam and Olivia are right here with me. I have two vanilla ice cream. Sure are those yours? <laughs> they so chocolate I could just eat them up. <laughs> okay, so that's well weird. And clean. You should come be my maid. No, thank you. Hey, I'm talking to you, gal. You wants to be my maid or not. I already said no, thank you. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What's that you said to my wife? I said hell no. Mama! Yep, there it goes again. Sorry I was late. But you know I won't miss our visits coming. Hell, heaven take me. Don't me. Don't leave me. village i stared at it for an hour before i could open it my hands trembled so <laughs> i cried enough to me i thought i told you not to touch the mail oh. minute after me and grady got married grady say honey what you want for your honeymoon 
I say two things. I want a new car and a drive to see my two favorite people to East. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she'll talk about y'all so much, I feel like we already married. Miss Ely. We's married ladies now. Grady gotta get back to work tomorrow. Mm. Also, we taking Seely with us. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? <laughs> oh yeah. Come again. Seely is coming to Memphis with us. It's time she saw more of this world. <laughs> I die before I let that happen. Good. That's just a grown away prison I'm in need. <laughs> hey, watch yourself. She the head of the woman. She should have found And you hid her letters all these years. And you knew she was the only person who loved me. But Nettie alive. Huh? She is. And my cheering with Nettie in Africa. And when they get home, us all together, we gonna whoop your country ass. <laughs> back in my house. Well, it's about time to load the luggage. No, no. <laughs> she, she wants to see the show. He ain't nothing but a sack of dead horse shit and horse shit along in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sophia been loving that. <laughs> she called him a sack of dead horse oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know it's this guy. Because he's living in you. Mm. Women at this table have lost their minds. Shut up, you old toothless goat. Don't believe me, you're like in a thin dime. Not a red sex. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did I ever ask you for anything? Not even your old sorry and then married. Now where are you going? I wants to go to Memphis too. <laughs> and do what? <laughs> oh come on, now squeak. My Same. name ain't Squeak. It's Mary Agnes. <laughs> oh, Sophia, home now. Nah. <laughs> There's gonna be some changes made. Show sure got talent and looks. All you fit to do is clean a slop jaw and cook a food. He ain't even that good a cook. Until you do right by me. Everything you think about going crumb. I may be black. I may be poor. <laughs> I may even be ugly. But I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> well, they took a lot of that right from the movie, didn't they? Boss! Yeah? You might welcome take a look. There's a couple of them that look dead. something you scratched out of my head. Oh, they put the song from the movie in here. Sounds urgent. Evening, Mrs. Seeley. Mr. Alfonso was a man, a hardworking man. Now, sure, he was difficult and uh, 
Stubborn? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be a lie if I told you for certain that Mr. Alfonso made it to the pearly gates. <laughs> what I do know is we must forgive. Good to see you. Good to see you. Meet me at the store. I got something to tell you. Mm. <laughs> Place is yours. Mm. I didn't leave it to you. No, ma'am. It wasn't his to give. You didn't know. We wasn't quite on speaking terms. Well, when I went to settle Alfonso's will, I found out from the lawyer that this wasn't his land nor his stone. When your daddy died, your mom married Alfonso. After she died, Alfonso took over mm. the stone. Your real daddy even put you and your sister's name on the deed. That's how I know this here land belongs to y'all. I am a... and a heart love me. I got out house, man. Now what's I gonna do? Whatever you want, baby. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Hate to bother you. This gonna sound odd, but uh, I came to buy some pants. I can come back later if it's too much trouble. I also brought you this. Why well, don't just take one of the ones? That no one else buys. <laughs> Help your business out, so. You, you looking nice. You sure you want to be seen in need? <laughs> uh, I don't mind. Say, uh, maybe someday, uh, you and me, we could, uh, I don't know if, uh, if you feel like it sometime. That's just us be friends. Hey, that's something. More than he deserves. Still 
best song in the score, and beautifully done. <laughs> A bit of forgiveness. And maybe a little more forgiveness coming up. Maybe God is trying to tell you something. Maybe God is trying to tell you something. Another one from the movie. <laughs> Going down by the river, gonna play with you. See me. <laughs> Little ones. around the tree of life. Well, that was the color purple. First off, I have to say I am still pissed off that they did not give the role to Cynthia Erivo. <laughs> she had the chance to become the first person in history to win all four pieces of the EGOT with the same role. She won the Tony, the Grammy, and the Emmy for playing Seely. And they didn't let her even try <laughs> to win the Oscar. <sighs> and it's not that Fantasia is bad. She's just not a fully realized creation of hers. There's way too much Whoopi and way too much Lachance in her interpretation of the role. So it's kind of... It could have been more, and so that's disappointing. I loved most people in the movie. Uh, Danielle Brooks, wow, yeah, she's really good. Taraj P. Henson, really good. But tell me this, why the hell do you hire her and then cut Brown Betty? And then they turned Uh-Oh into a dialogue scene. Okay, you don't even let her sing. <laughs> uh, what is the director thinking actually the director was probably the wrong one for the movie it's not a knock against his skills as a director but i don't think he understands musicals and the way that they need to be told and expressed because the new songs 
a lot of them did not advance the story and the songs he took out was sometimes disappointing. Like he took out the color purple. We only got the reprise at the end. So <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> very strange choices. This material has had four directors. You see a pattern? It's progress that the latest one is black. Yes. But this is the story of a queer black woman. So why the hell did they not get D. Rees to do this? Looked great, though. The cinematography, the sets, the costumes, fabulous. Chris Bowers, his underscore was really good. It evoked some of the movie. It used pieces of the musical. I mean, he really combined it all. Loved the, the background music. But overall, yeah, it's just kind of like a maybe a seven, you know? And when you're working with a movie that was a ten and a musical that was an eight and a half, and you combine them together and you get less than the ingredients, yeah, it's the question is why do it then? You know, if they had just made a straight version of of the musical i think it would have been better than trying to cram some of the pieces that they liked from the movie into it i mean i did like hearing those songs but they weren't really necessary to tell this story and then using some of the dialogue straight from menomaze's script and bringing it into this version was just it's weird i don't know i'm not gonna say i didn't like it but it's not something I'd probably watch again because there are superior versions of the story. Yeah, I have seen the Spielberg version many times. Um, I've read Alice Walker's novel and the sequel, The Temple of My Familiar. I have the soundtrack albums for the movie, the original Broadway cast and the revival Broadway cast. And I know the material very well, so this is just like i don't know i feel very strangely disappointed even though it's a good movie i still wanted more from it yeah um i hope you all enjoyed it and until the next time we put our feet up laters <laughs>